Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about how we can go about finding the emissive power of a black body between two specific wavelengths. By this I mean, if we have this emission distribution curve here, how do we determine what fraction of the total emissive power is coming from this range of wavelengths? So, to begin, it makes sense that to understand the percentage of energy coming from a certain wavelength range, we must first understand what the total emissive power of the black body is across all possible wavelengths, and this is denoted using this equation, which is just the black body emissive power equation that we previously discussed. So, looking at our term here, we can see that the bounds of integration are from wavelengths of zero to infinity. Well, by only taking the bounds from our desired wavelength regions, we can determine the emissive power from our desired regions. So, visually, this is what it looks like. Now that we've found an equation that describes the emissive power of our total black body, and one that describes our black body over a specific range, we can find the fraction of emission in our desired region by dividing them like so. Now, we are ready to expand our terms in our numerator and denominator. As you can see here, we have a few similar terms, that is our Stefan-Boltzmann constant and the temperature. Since the Stefan-Boltzmann constant is, well, a constant, and we are looking at an isothermal system, which means that it is non-temperature changing, we can separate these common constants out of our integration. Now, to fully solve these problems, you will need some additional information, such as the function or an estimation of the function, such that this curve can be visualized. As this is just a basic introduction to the topic, we will not get too bogged down in the details of this topic. If you wish to learn more though, I will leave a link in the description below that provides an excellent explanation of how the fractional function of blackbody radiation can be implemented within infinite series and spreadsheets. So check that out if you want to learn more on this topic. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how we use fractional functions to determine the emissive power of a blackbody between two wavelengths. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.